It's 115 years since Lindrum was born, 53 since he left us, we remember and mourn. For outstanding champions, seldom are seen, immortals are rarer and few there have been. Who excelled at their sport with his skill and his flair, he shattered opponents, they were left in despair. Lindrum played billiards like Mozart composed, his genius inspired, your emotions exposed. Enthralled you would listen to the tune from his table, for Lindrum made music as a maestro is able. His cure baton that caressed and excited, each change in the tempo surprised and delighted. Till there came a crescendo, you felt you should cheer, but on went the music, no end was near. Rules were soon altered. He's too good, they said. He has to stop cannons and play in offs instead. But it just didn't matter what committee decreed. He kept on scoring at an incredible speed. Record after record flowed from his cue. How good was Lindrum? Well, all the world knew. He defeated the best in September 31 for a gold cup in England, and his legend had begun. He gave 7,000 start to the best in the land. The king called for Lindrum. He was in great demand. He met every challenge thrown in his way. He became the world champion with an awesome display. He defeated Joe Davis with nonchalant ease. Lindrum, untroubled, just did as he pleased. He returned to Australia, winning at will. He gave exhibitions every hall he would fill. He raised millions for charity and the same for the war. Play on those tables not seen before. His break of 4,000 will never be beat. Made in three hours a miraculous feat. When we toast Walter Lindrum, we're toasting the gums, we're toasting the wattle, as well as his son, who was born of Australia, a spirit of our nation. Like Sir Donald Bradman, he had one destination, to inspire all Australians to reach greater heights, and that feeling is with us, I sense it tonight. When I'm near the mechanics, I sometimes go in. It's long deserted, no tables within. I stand by the wall where cues filled the rack, and I gaze over that room and my memory goes back to the day Lindrum played there. I see him once more, a master at work, a magician for sure. And I again hear the music in that old empty hall, the call of 1,000 as he pots a red ball. I see him shake hands in his dignified way. I hear thunderous applause as he continues to play. Long jennies and masses and drags with check side. Those balls at his mercy with nowhere to hide. I leave the room proudly with my head held up high. Knowing Walter Lindrum's immortal while I'm passing by.